Flame retardants are found in a whole slew of different products. They are in your couch. They're probably in, you know, your easy chairs. Um, they're in some breastfeeding pillows, strollers, things like that. They can be in a, a whole bunch of different products. A recent study last year tested a hundred different children's products, baby products, found flame retardants in 80% of them. So they're in a lot of different things. They're also in the um, plastic around television sets. They're in, uh, so yeah, they're in, a, they're in a really wide range of products. I just feel that if, if we can do anything to keep little children from getting burned, and once again, it's not your kids. It's going to be the little kids in the more economically deprived areas that get burned. It's not your kids. Well, the chemical industry makes three main arguments on flame retardants. They work really well, they're safe, and they're actually good for the environment. You know, they're actually good for the environment. And when you take each one of those arguments and you look at the scientific research behind those arguments, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't hold up. Flame retardant chemicals are linked to cancer, hormone disruption, and neurological deficits, among other problems. You know, it's one thing to have some health risks if you're getting the, this huge fire safety benefit, but I think when it comes to furniture, what we found was they don't work as promised. One of the um, scientists whose work the industry has repeatedly cited, he says that the um, flame retardants, the way they're used in house, modern household furniture, they don't work. The fire just laughs at it, is what he said. What both the Consumer Product Safety Commission and uh, Underwriters Laboratories have found is in using uh, the typical flame retardant chemicals in the actual foam, the foam cushions in chairs, they don't provide any meaningful difference. They don't give you any meaningful protection. Some of the tests that the CPSC did, they lit two chairs on fire. The only thing that was different about the two chairs is one had regular foam and one had foam treated with the flame retardant chemical. And what the CPSC found is there was no meaningful difference in those fires. After four minutes, both chairs were fully on fire. Meanwhile, this chemical that was supposed to be you know, safely locked inside the, the foam cushions is showing up all over the planet. Uh, it's being found in, in harbor seals off the coast of Maine, in polar bears in the Arctic, in porpoises in the South China Sea. And uh, it also is being found in house dust. Uh, the, the primary mode of how people are exposed to these chemicals is uh, believed that it's, it gets out of the cushions uh, as the cushions age. The chemicals uh, volatilize, they get into the dust, um, and then we, um, you know, adults put their hands in their mouths more than maybe we realize uh, we're ingesting some of that dust. In my 42 years of being in burn centers, I have seen the ravages of fire and the deaths. The, the industry's top front group, and I would call it a front group, is a group called Citizens for Fire Safety. And Citizens for Fire Safety goes out of its way to suggest that it is a broad coalition of everyday Americans out to kind of protect the public from fire. Its, its website shows these five smiling children holding a hand-drawn banner that says fire safety on it and there's a little heart dotting the eye. And in reality when I looked into it, Citizens for Fire Safety is a trade association of the, the three largest makers of flame retardants in the world. Albemarle, Chemtura, and ICL Industrial Products. Those are the three largest makers of flame retardant chemicals a group called the Fredonia Group, which is a market research group that tracks this industry, told me that those three companies control 40% of the world market for flame retardants. I believe DECA is the most flame retardant material out there. I believe that if it is banned, it will cause a, a big impact on the fire service in the United States. Senate Bill 772 puts the most vulnerable at the greatest risk. What the Citizens for Fire Safety has really worked hard to do is to both protect the market, the existing uses of chemicals, which as you know are very controversial, and to expand uses to other products. So they're still working to grow their market share too.